Hello, Erin here. Welcome to this video all about the Pretty Woman UK and Ireland tour. So, in this bit of vlog, you're going to see me and Mickey head to the new Victoria Theatre in Woking to see the UK and Ireland tour of Pretty Woman. Now, this is slightly different to when we do our West End and Broadway vlogs because this production moves about a lot. It is basically one week runs across the country. That's how most UK tours happen, is that they'll do one week runs in different cities and move around. We sometimes have the longer type of runs that are more often known in America, which is where they'll sit down for like a month or a few months, such as Hamilton is doing in Manchester and in Edinburgh with Wicked. Over the Christmas it happens quite a lot where some of our shows will sit down for the whole of the Christmas period in different cities if they don't do pantomimes. But with Pretty Woman it's more of a traditional method where it is on for one-week runs and it's going to mainly ATG venues because this production is produced by ATG. TG. Following showing you the theatre and kind of the merchandise and etc I'm going to talk through kind of what to expect at the different venues across the UK, what, what from this production will be going about, if there'll be any differences between them, any hints or tips. Most of what we experienced in Woking will be the same in most cities where this show will go and as a kind of heads up I don't think much will be different in different venues. Sometimes with these shows there might be slightly smaller versions of a production at certain venues and then a larger one when we're in a larger venue. The merchandise that we show should be available at all the venues and hopefully my advice on where to sit will be similar. Obviously different theatres have different viewpoints so take that in mind about your local venue and kind of add the knowledge that I'm going to give you to that. We have a mochi. So the New Victoria Theatre in Woking is an ATG venue and we showed on the Sunset Boulevard video that they have mochi in the ATG West End venues. I didn't know that they've now been added. So if you're going to an ATG theatre regionally, hopefully you should be able to get mochi too. I'm trying to remember which one's my favourite flavour. I enjoy the I like the salted sort of caramel. Oh, they don't have a popcorn one here. I quite liked that. They don't have the popcorn. No, the popcorn one was yeah. really nice. I'm not sure that, like, because I normally go for, like, a soft, pinky, fruity thing. I'm not sure that translated as I well didn't really like for us, everyone. as it does to other things. No. And it's Mickey Joe Theatre here back with the merchandise, with some creative goods merchandise. I spot that little label there. Uh, this is a t-shirt that says bold, fierce, funny, strong, pretty, and woman, W-O-M-A-N. That does not feature in this show. This is a tote bag filled with rose petals, but you can fill it with whatever you wish. They are not mandatory. And I want the fairy tale sweatshirt with the logo on the arm there. If you know, you know. Send the show. Another t-shirt there with sparkers, which we all love. We have programs. And we have prices of everything down here. There's also a key ring, a magnet, a mug. Who doesn't need a mug? Multiple different recordings. A little lapel pin as well. There you go, the merchandise currently on sale from the UK tour of Pretty Woman. Ah. I find really cool with this venue is like this big circle st staircase in the middle. Reminds me a bit of a cruise ship. Does anybody else get cruise ship vibes? <laughs> and we have Prosecco with a little raspberry inside. <laughs> and this is our view from Roji in the stalls. And this is a view of what it will look like on tour. There's nothing really going around the proceeding, it just kind of nicely sits on the stage, so this will be the same across the UK when it's on tour. So that was our trip to the new Victoria Theatre in Woking to see Pretty Woman. The fun thing about that theatre that I'm not fully sure if we mentioned is that it's a theatre that is located in a shopping centre. There are not many theatres at all in this country that are like that. So you literally walk through the shopping centre and then suddenly you're in a theatre which also has a cinema. So it, it contains both a cinema and a theatre which is kind of cool because again not something that's very often found in the UK. There's also an entrance from outside so you don't have to always go through the shopping centre but if you're coming from a train station that's probably the quickest way to get there and from that way you enter at the upstairs level and then kind of work down to the stalls whereas from the outside you'll come in at the stalls level. If you're coming in from the shopping centre side you'll, the merchandise literally will be there straight away once you've done bag check and tickets and your left will be what we showed where the merchandise is so it's very handy and then you kind of go in they that theatre does have a restaurant inside it which is very nice and handy as well as loads of bar spaces so you could have a pre-theatre dinner at the theatre before there but also on the high street 
there are tons of different restaurants and quick places to eat. So me and Mickey went to The Lounge, which is one of our favourites because they do a really good gluten-free menu. So that's where we went pre-show, but there's fab choices to do, but you can do it at the theatre or there. So that's just a hint if you're going to Woking to see the show or planning a trip to Woking to see any of the show in the coming future. So Pretty Woman itself, we'd seen it twice before in London. I think there's a video on my channel about when we went to see it in the West End at the Savoy Theatre. So we both kind of already knew what to expect with Pretty Woman. I like to call it, it's a safe musical. It's nice, it's a lot of fun. Is it my favourite musical? No. Do I still have a good time when I see it? Yes, it's very, it's nice and enjoyable. The music's okay, there's some great songs. It's not the best score in the world, but it is written by Brian Adams. So you have that kind of fun rock sound to it, which is, it's always nice to hear a big belty voice. Well, at least I think so. And there's a fab cast involved. Mickey has already posted his review on it, so I'll let him go more into detail about the show so you can watch it there where he'll talk about how this show's been created and a lot of the thoughts I agree with with him so that'll help you know more about kind of the show itself but I would say it is a great show if you're just if you're a big fan of the film I know that everybody that I know who likes the film seems to enjoy the musical because it's very close to what it was. The cast of Fab, there's some great vocals. We had Understudy Happy Man on and he was a lot of fun. He seemed very different to how I've ever seen it played before. So it was kind of nice to see there's some freedom there. It was also interesting actually that seeing it at the theatre, the new Victoria Theatre, which has quite a wide stage if you can see from the curtain call, that the stage is slightly brought in by the blacks because which is kind of on the side of the wings, you'll see black cloths to bring it slightly in because of the set I think is slightly smaller than the stage was. So rather than expanding the set, and um, they just put in the set that they're touring, which means that I think if you're going to a slightly smaller venue across the country, I don't think you'll be losing any set or anything like that. Cause sometimes they will take out parts of the set pieces when it's in a smaller venue, so you might miss part of the production. But it seems with this one that I think all the venues will be covered with just the full set, which is fab. We like to see that, but it does mean if you're going to a slightly bigger venue, I'd maybe, as a seating recommendation, not pick the side of the aisles if you're in a larger venue. If you're in a smaller venue, I don't think that's an issue, but if you're in one of the larger venues, because it's a slightly smaller set than like a big, for, than for a big stage, I think if you're at the side and they do have the black cloths in, you might miss what's happening at the side of the stage if that cut, because it might slightly cut in further of a restricted view. Good thing to note. Obviously, as this show is produced by ATG and going to mainly ATG venues, for those venues, I believe you should be able to use your ATG Plus cards if you're a member, etc., for deals, etc., like that. So it's worth looking at that. And there's a great wide variety of prices, which I think is always a nice thing when a show goes on tour is that more often tickets are slightly cheaper than they were in the West End. So the show is going to, here's a list of all the venues. And the show is going to Oxford in the start of December, Stockton on Tees for that Christmas period from the 14th to the 30th of December, Liverpool Empire from the 23rd of Jan to the 3rd of Feb, Wimbledon, the new Wimbledon Theatre from the 12th of Feb to the 17th of Feb, Grand Opera House York from the 20th of Feb to the 24th of Feb, Palace Theatre Manchester from the 27th of February to the 16th of March, Milton Keynes Theatre from the 19th to the 30th of March, Edinburgh Playhouse from the 2nd to the 13th of April, Sunderland Empire from the 28th of May to the 8th of June, Stoke-on-Trent from the 15th of July to the 20th of July, and I believe it's going back to Birmingham from the 20th to the 24th of August. I think there's also other venues, but those are all the ATG venues that it's going to, so those are the ones where your ATG Plus card will be in handy if you've got one. But if I'm looking here at the list, it's also going to, where is it also going to? It is going to Aberdeen. No, if it's going to Aberdeen and I think there's a different venue that Ellie J who we saw in the West End twice because she was the cover for Vivian we saw her twice she'll be leading at those venues but she's also understudying the role for the whole tour if you get Ellie on she's incredible we really loved her in the role so big plug where else is it going that I have not mentioned for you uh, it's going to Plymouth it's going to Cardiff it's going to Bromley Leeds Belfast Cork Dublin it's doing a proper island tour like that's more venues than I've seen tours do recently and it seems to be all together as well which is nice Canterbury and we were recently at the Marlow it's a lovely venue Southampton Southend Dartford Nottingham 
Northampton, Leicester, The Curve and Sheffield. It's going to loads of venues which is we like to see that it's travelling right across the country. Now for a comment down below, have you been to Pretty Woman? Did you see it on Broadway? Did you see it in the West End? Did you see, Have you seen it on tour? Are you planning to see it on tour? And with an emoji comment with either a red heart or the red flower, red rose. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video which kind of covers the Pretty Woman UK and Ireland tour, what you kind of need to know in advance and giving you a little view of the show itself. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more of these fun bit of vlogs and don't forget to head over to Mickey's channel to watch his review on the show. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a magical and stagey rest of your day. Bye!